Welcome back to The Grind. In this video, we're gonna talk about the spell details of the Legendary Dragons with the Wave 1 release of Sunscorch Season. First, we'll talk about Krellos, the Legendary Wind Sorcerer that is the Discount Dragon, so it will be 50% off for the first two weeks. Krellos has Speed Demon, which is an active white one rage spell that causes the dragon to fly faster and dodge all non-beam attacks, and towers take 7% of its modified HP as damage every second for three seconds. Has a five second cooldown. Next is Take That, an active red one rage spell that damages nearby towers for 20% of its modified HP. And Krellos will become invincible for three seconds. And this spell restores 12% of its modified HP on cast with a five second cooldown. Because it's invincible, I believe you will be able to use spells and auto attacks during that time because it's different than a cloak. And the next spell is Tail Smash, which is a white active one rage spell that deals 2500% or 25 times the dragon's attack damage as damage to a target area and has a three second cooldown. This will be like the regular death case type spells that most dragons have. I imagine it will hit two to three towers if placed correctly. And this three second cooldown I'm liking quite a bit. The last spell is Sacrifice where you give up some health in return for rage. So I'm actually pretty excited about Krellos. And when you look at his rage runes, it actually increases the duration of Speed Demon. So that's longer time that you're protected from spells and increases HP. So the one downside to this dragon is Speed Demon might increase your risk of flying over towers without being able to destroy them. Now, if you're using this dragon as a cleanup dragon, this spell is amazing because you just want to quickly get to the towers and then to the next towers without wasting time so you can finish the attack as fast as possible. If you're attacking bases that are weak enough, then this will significantly increase the speed at which you can defeat that base. The increased difficulty will depend on how fast the dragon actually flies. So how I would fly this dragon is while on the turn, fire Tail Smash to destroy two to three towers, preferably destroying the Ice Flak and or Storm Tower. And then you can choose between activating Speed Demon or Take That. If a Red Mage is present, you can still activate Take That. It just will not deal damage to the towers. So that is the one thing to consider. However, activating Take That first will allow you more time to attack the other towers because you won't be flying over them as soon. And then before that three second protection runs out, you will be able to use another Tail Smash and then follow that by either Speed Demon or Take That, whichever one you did not use initially. The one advantage to the spell Take That is the invincibility shield will block beam attacks. So if there is a beam tower still available on the base, Speed Demon will not protect you from the damage from those towers. So that is where the Take That spell has an advantage. So this dragon essentially has a six second period of invulnerability or protection uh, with the exception of the beam towers. And in that time, you can activate Tail Smash three times. If you start with one, do the second one after the first defensive spell and the third one at the end of the second defensive spell. And then you can use Sacrifice to gain Rage so that you can continue going through these spells. There will be a short two-ish second period where you do not have one of those defense spells available before you can activate it again. So I'm actually very excited about this dragon and I'm grateful that it is the discount dragon, which means I'll get to use it and fly it myself. I think this is a great dragon for newer players, especially those who are attacking mostly short island bases because this dragon should easily be able to clear a short base, even probably a couple tiers above its tier. Its weaknesses, of course, would be beam towers as well as Major Drain and Ice Flax if you're not using the appropriate skill to dodge those abilities. And I believe this dragon should be able to destroy three towers on the front of Island 3 with the Tail Smash spell if it's set up in the right way and you hit the right spot. It's not easy, but it's possible, which means that you could clear an island with just two of those spells. 
So I'm looking forward to this dragon. Now let's talk about Dross, the legendary Dark Invoker. Pretty cool looking Invoker, and there are some positives to this dragon and some negatives. I probably will not be getting this dragon, so I won't be able to fly it unless PG grants this creator's faction the ability to test out the dragons again this season. So for Dross, the Invoke shot is Gloom, so the fourth shot of the Invoker is the Invoke, and then it has three regular ammo first. The Invoke shot will deal 16% of the dragon's modified HP as damage to all towers in a target area, and then will disable them, preventing them from attacking and using super shots. The disable effect will be removed when the tower takes damage. However, the smoke screen spell does deal damage after the cloak ends, but this will not remove the disable from the invoke gloom. So that is a key important feature of this spell. The next spell is Black Ash, which is a passive that once the dragon's breath attack hits a tower, it will cause the tower to take 50% increased damage from all sources. So if you use the first three shots on three different towers and then use the fourth invoke shot to hit them, it'll take additional damage. Now, the other thing to consider is I think the gloom invoke shot can hit at least three, maybe four and maybe even five towers if placed correctly based on the radius. I'm not super experienced with the radius sizes, but this is a big strength for this dragon because the gloom disable effect will stay until it takes damage even when other dragons enter the flight. So the next spell is Smokescreen, an active white one rage spell that will cloak the dragon for two seconds and cause him to fly slower. When you the cloak ends, you'll deal 6% of the dragon's modified HP as damage to all nearby towers and then have a four second cooldown. And that damage at the end does not remove the disable from the towers. And then the final spell is Super Rejuvenate, so it will heal the dragon. And it has a two second duration and a zero second cooldown. So when you approach an island, you wanna tap with three fingers on the front three towers and then use the invoke shot to hit as many towers as possible. Once you disable those towers, before you get hit by super shots and damage, you wanna use smoke screen so that you can protect yourself. And then upon uncloaking you will be exposed for a few seconds and you will want to use the rejuvenate spell to prevent yourself from dying the thing i'm not sure of is if the gloom invoke shot will deal enough damage to destroy towers after you've placed the breath attack on it first causing it to take more damage i don't think that will happen but it is something to test and see you might still have to use additional shots on it afterwards to kill it and then once you disable those first towers if it's only a short island and there you're able to disable all of them then you'll be easily able to clean it up with another dragon for a long middle island it will be more challenging because you'll probably be able to get hit by these back towers before you're able to disable them and before you're able to cloak again that's why the rejuvenate will be important so I'm not quite sure how this dragon will do, especially as a solo dragon. It might have the potential to be a setup dragon, but it will really depend on how much damage this dragon will deal with the invoke shot, as well as how many towers you can successfully disable with the invoke shot. So I'm excited to see this dragon in action and hopefully I'll be able to test it out myself. A couple more things to consider is that the runes will decrease the cooldown of smoke screen by about one and a half or so seconds. So this this will decrease the amount of time between the extra protection you have from that cloak. The other thing is depending on what island you're attacking, if you're able to fire the invoke shot early enough, you might be able to disable the towers before they recognize and attack you. This would allow you to delay the use of smoke screen potentially long enough so that you can use a second round of the invoke shot and disable more towers before you are exposed. Specifically for island four and five, if you can disable the first five towers, delay smoke screen for two seconds and then use smoke screen you'll be able to use the second invoke on the back towers to disable the remainder of the towers without taking damage so for most players i would recommend getting krelos because it seems like a fairly strong dragon to me at least at this point and it also is the discount dragon so it will definitely help your progress in reaching a mythic if that's your goal but it will also allow you to get more resources from that line as well as the dragon at a cheaper price so for the first two weeks getting the discount line is always beneficial. Now, check out my other videos on the Mythic Dragons as well as the season update because there are some details
details about the changes in season structure and discount lines. For those of you that want an invoker and don't have one yet, I would say save your sigils a little bit so that you can see how this dragon really works out. And again, if I have the opportunity, I will make some videos on flying that dragon as well, just to give everyone a better idea of what they will be getting. And if you don't think you need the discount line and you don't want Krellos, then I would say to save your sigils a little bit and don't go full force into Dross just yet. Just give it a little bit of time to see how the dragon will really function once the game is live and people have actually started flying it. So good luck, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.